So here's the HW16 on the bench and receiving some signals on 15 meters. It's uh, working pretty well. It's got uh, fairly good sensitivity on 15, which as I recall from the first one of these that I owned back in the 70s, it had pretty poor sensitivity on 15, but this is doing all right. Uh, one of the things with the HW16 is that um, it doesn't have any automatic gain control, no AGC, and so you have to kind of ride the RF gain control as you get strong and weak signals. You know, if you turn it up, it starts distorting, so you want to keep it at a reasonable level manually. Um, haven't done any tune up on this yet. Uh, this is the rig that I replaced all of the all of the carbon composition resistors and uh, pretty much rebuilt it up uh, from the bottom. Just left a few of the original components on. Uh, you know, some of the RF chokes and naturally the transformers and uh, tuning uh, the the tuning components, things like that. But uh, uh, replaced uh, all the electrolytic capacitors and the uh, carbon composition resistors. Um, re did a lot of rewiring on the band switch where the guy had uh, burnt a lot of insulation off of wires and things like that. So uh, it still has uh, a couple problems I have to work through. After I uh, get my crystals in the mail, I should be able to uh, tune it up uh, into a a dummy load and, and see how the transmitter part is working. But uh, I do get a side tone when I when I uh, use the key over there. So that part is working. And um pretty happy with it. I, I think it'll be a, a nice little rig and it's it's uh, the same model that was the first ham radio that I ever had when I was uh, 15 years old. Uh, back in Nebraska's WN0 SMX. So, uh, major thing that's wrong with this still, uh, the, the dial. Um, a, a lot of these these old HW16s, the dial got boogered up because of the, the way the mechanism works. And that happened with this one. And so when you when you turn the knob, it doesn't engage the dial. Uh, it's, it's all chewed up on the back, so that's not so good. But uh, I can reach around back and, and, you know, right now it's just loosely on there and so it's got some slop. But once it engages, I can, I can go ahead and tune it slowly up and down the band. Just listening for signals. So, pretty good. It, uh, it received well on uh, 40 and 80 last night as I was listening to it after uh, first got everything powered up. This has been a long project, so uh, this thing hasn't been powered up since I bought it uh, two years ago at the Superstition Ham Fest. I had uh, taken it all apart and was cleaning it up and replacing components and such, but only in my spare time, so uh, you know there wasn't any big hurry to get it done or anything. So... That's where it's at right now, and uh, hopefully in the next few weeks I'll be able to get the uh, transmit all working on it, straighten up the cabinet a little bit. Uh, it's got uh, it's been dropped and been bent, so I have to uh, straighten out the cabinet, do a little painting on it, and uh, hopefully it'll be ready for the novice roundup come uh, February of 2015. 73 guys.